Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can find links by analyzing the links that your competitors have. As you know, links are one of the most important ranking factors for a website and acquiring good quality links is really important to help boost your website authority and your rankings. So the tool we're going to use today is called Ahrefs. Now, Ahrefs is a paid tool, but you can take a free trial and take advantage of the free trial for seven days. It's a seven dollar for seven day trial uh, that will give you access to the tool and that should be enough time for you to analyze all of the top websites in your niche or your market and compile all of their backlinks so you can then mine through them at a later date and figure out which ones you want to acquire. Right, so in this case here, I'm just going to sign into my own account. I have a paid account already, but you can get the same access with that seven day trial. So in this case here, let's say that I'm a Brisbane plumber and I do a search for Brisbane plumber and what I'm going to do is have a look at all of the sites that are ranking on page one. Now in this case here, I'm looking at a site called Fallon Solutions. Now I'll just grab this, I'll just grab the domain name and go to Ahrefs and pop it into the tool and click search. Now what this tool is going to do is go away and compile all, a list of all of the links pointing to the site. Now I'll point out two things that you need to know. First thing is leave this selection here as the default, the star dot domain. That just basically means that it will it will look at all of the links to all the different variations of the URL of the domain. The other thing you want to do is this section over here where you see HTTPS, click the drop down and make sure that points to both HTTP and HTTPS. Now all that is is that um, uh, sites are in the process of being moved to HTTPS which is secure sites and uh, the link tools treat the non-HTTP and the HTTPS version as separate websites. So you want to look at both. So make sure the tool says both. Now, what you see the numbers are here. The number of unique referring domains or websites that are linking to yours uh, or to the competitor site is 227 sites. And of the on those 227 sites, they are sending close to 5,000 links to this site. Now that makes it really challenging to sift through this, uh, you know, 5,000 links is a lot. So what you want to do initially is just have a look at the referring domains, right? Click that and you can see these are all the sites. Now, this is where your own uh, assessment or your ability to filter out the rubbish and fil filter out real sites comes into play. A lot of these sites are going to be fake PBN sites. What, what that means is private blog network sites. These are sites that are created expressly for the purpose of building fake links to help rank websites. What you want to do is try to identify which sites are real. They might be industry sites, niche directories, things like that. And the way you do that is simply click this little drop down here and that'll give you a quick look at all of those links. Now in this case here, this website is generating 441 links. And if you were to right click and say open that and have a look at it, Australian Sport Lighting Solutions. Now the, the question is, is this a site that you can get listed on? or is it one of their own sites? And you've got to make that assessment pretty quickly. If, if it's a directory, for example, it'll say submit your business here and then you can do that. If it was an association website, look for those opportunities. If you can list your business, put it in there. Otherwise, if you, if you look at a site and you can't figure out how you can get onto it, then just move on to the next one. You've got so many other links to go through. So in this case here, you just sort of scroll down and look local search, for example, just click the drop down and it will show you all the 23 links on this website. And you can see that local search is a standard directory and there's a button there to say list your business so go and list your business now if I was to keep going through um, you will see that some of them are real and some of them are not real and you can see for example these ones here chinchilla news this is uh, this looks to be a listing in a classified section under finder so I know this one you can actually pay to be listed in here so this is just another paid directory so you can post an ad or or submit your business to this one as well. So you've got to go through and make a, a good judgment as to what's real and what's not real. And where you see that there is a site, for example, let's have a look at this Blogspot one here, that is not real, let's have a look. Uh, don't waste your time trying to find out how you can submit to it, right? You're just wasting your time. So you see in this case here, the website address is small air conditioner, I don't even know how to say that, .blogspot.com.au. And you can see, right, it's it's set up purely to load rubbish content on and link to those other sites. In this case here, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time trying to find a link on this and don't waste your time trying to create these fake spammy blogs. Look for real linking opportunities, real directories, real blogs that might be writing about things that you can go and submit your, your business to. Now, what you can quickly do is uh, you can do it like this, go through the tool and analyze one uh, each, each link at, at the time, or you can simply 
export these referring domains down to your down to your computer and have a look through them later. Now I should mention, if you do an export of the referring domains, it will just give you a list of the spreadsheets, sorry, a list of the sites upon which they've got the link. So here we go, All right? These are the individual websites and then you can go and figure out how to um, list yourself on them. If you want to actually see the unique links, what you want to do is go back to the nav on the left here and you'll see it's there's a link that says backlinks. Right now we're on currently the referring domains. If you want to look at each individual link, click on backlinks. Now the big issue here is that we know that the, the number of sites linking was around 200 plus, but the number of unique backlinks is over 4,000. And so it could be a real challenge filtering all of these because many of them will be on um, one domain. So there's one way you could filter this out. You could simply say, show me one link per domain because the reality is a lot of them are just replicated pages, right? So simply select, select let's try that again, simply select one link per domain and then come over here and click export and start export and now what you'll have is a detailed comprehensive list of all of the unique individual backlinks and you can see here <clears throat> this is the referring page URL right this is the page title and that is the link URL where it's pointing to so all you need to do is go to these pages and see what's on them and see whether you can in fact get a link on them right some of these you can't if you can't move on you've got a lot of links to go through and that's it that's the simple process of using the seven day trial of ahrefs to analyze your competitors links export them to a spreadsheet and then work through them trying to identify which ones that you can get and picking up backlinks it's the simplest and fastest way of building links uh, just remember if you take the seven day trial to ahrefs um, Make sure you get the work done and you in seven days and you cancel the trial because it moves on to a $79 a month subscription rate for this tool. It's pretty expensive if you don't use it all the time. Hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions, leave it below the video.